Hey, Scorps! Welcome to your weekly love reading December 31st to January 6th. Hope you guys are doing really good. I just gotta say, saw some pretty cool stuff in the pre-shuffle. I know, I'm already getting excited for you guys. Um, before I get into the pre-shuffle, I've been sensing a shift with, with Scorpio energy. Um, just even as I was meditating, I was feeling it. It's like, and not, not necessarily just events, like a shifting of events that are to come, but more just like perspective maybe perspective like perspective on maybe how you're viewing relationships and love or maybe how you feel about it like there's i just feel like a shift a shift is occurring from one like you know way of thinking to another yeah it's a way of thinking uh, yeah perspective we'll just go with that so the pre-shuffle the lovers came out twice upright both times and then i saw the hair font i know it's about to get real <laughs> twin flame energy excuse me Soulmate energy, spiritual connection energy, commitment energy. It was just like, whoa, what the hell is coming in Scorpio's way? So I want to get into it and let's see what's going on. Sorry, guys. I had dinner a little while ago. I thought it was, you know, thought I had digested it. I guess not. <laughs> My bad. Um, please know that this is a general reading for uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages will not resonate with everybody. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind, even if it's just the one thing. Honestly, guys, because when if you take the one thing home that resonates with you and just forget about the rest of the reading, that one thing is speaking to you. It spoke to you for a reason. So just take it home as, as a piece of advice or just some guidance and or insight to look into uh, things in your own life or whatever it applies to, okay? So just know that. And I did get multiple messages anyway for different groups of the of the said sign um, and vice versa energy because this is usually involving other people. Um, so stick around. There could definitely be something for you. And as I said, it's energy. So like, you know, it is vice versa. It can be vice versa. So messages can pertain to you, your partner, or someone in your immediate environment. Um, also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. <laughs> King of Pentacles just fell out. We haven't really started yet, but I'm just letting you know. <laughs> your seventh house just fell out. Your house of partnership just fell out. <laughs> <laughs> they're dying to come out they're dying <laughs> they're dying to um so just know that like it doesn't matter right like if this is a king of pentacles if your partner is a female your partner is a female you know what i mean doesn't matter all right so let's get started mm. <sighs> any messages for scorpios regarding love i can't help but smile for you guys i don't know why i really feel like something big's coming any messages from us Scorpios regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? That feels pretty good. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? Four wands just came out. Holy shit. Um, whoa, whoa, with the king of cups, your card. Also like, you know, the commitment king, <laughs> the king of commitment, literally. Um, oh, this is going to be intense. This is going to be intense. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? Hold on. There's a peeker here. Oh, we got a few peekers. Okay. So that's a stack right there. I'll keep that out. Keep that over there. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? Mm. Scorps, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Any messages from my Scorpios regarding love, December 31st to January You know, I think that's just what I'm going to title it. You will not believe this. To January 6th. Any messages from my Scorpios regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? Yeah, those wanted to come out. Okay. Oh, very interesting, though. We start off with the overall energy of Ace of Swords in reverse. Very interesting. Um, I'm, I'm also getting seeking. Seeking. I think you guys are seeking the truth about something. Or, like, the truth is right there. It's, like, right for the taking. But there's, so, there's like, one detail that is pivotal to you understanding what the full truth that you just don't have yet is also what I'm sensing. Um, mm. I'm also getting it's your own truth. It's your own truth. Are you guys going through a little bit of awakening here? It feels a little bit like a spiritual awakening, but it's it's in regards to love. Without a doubt. I mean, we got the King of Cups and the Four of Wands out here. It's regarding love. Um, there's going to be a key detail 
there's gonna be a key detail that's gonna turn the tr that's gonna like turn the tide oh maybe that's the shift i was feeling that's gonna turn the tide and you're gonna get the whole truth about something but it's your own truth Whatever that's about. But that's the overall energy for the week, okay? Wow, what a way to start off a new year. So we got the Four Wands and King Cups over there. Let me see what this stack is about. Whoa. Whoa. Some, someone put you in a weird state of mind, Scorpios. And this is like, the I see a lot of negative cards here. The cards that fell in the later portion of the shuffling and dealing. Wow. I also feel like you're getting the truth about someone too, as well. But like, it's stemming from your own truth. Yeah, I feel like this is about how you view relationships. Like, maybe you're kind of seeing, you're seeing, you're seeing the truth about a situation, and it's like a situation you've dealt with repeatedly with many different people. Maybe like it's a relationship pattern. You're seeing the truth about a relationship pattern. That's what it is. You're seeing a truth about a relationship pattern, um, and it's a little bit of a rude awakening. All right, so. I'll show you the cards and we'll just get into it. We have four wands. <laughs> commitment, right? <laughs> Marriage card. It's also events, like social events, and it is New Year's, but it's it's commitment. I'm feeling it's commitment. King of Cups, your energy, Scorpio. Could also be Cancer, Pisces, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is definitely somebody who's ready for commitment. And it came out right with the four of wands, ready for commitment. That's one energy over here. This feels like it's um, upcoming. This feels near future. Um, these two energies feel very near future. And then we have this, which feels like past energy. But like I said, I feel like you're just like on the verge of getting like a pivotal detail of seeing the truth about a relationship pattern that you have um, and the truth about someone that you've been dealing with or have dealt with in the recent past. Ugh, I had to say it that way specifically. They told me to because <laughs> some of you are dealing with someone from the past still that you have a history with. Others of you, you have someone in your recent past that you're not talking to anymore. Make sense? All right, so we have six cards. We have this first line. We start with the full Aries energy, taking a risk, having a new beginning. But paired with this, I really feel like it's it's a new beginning for you because you're gaining a new perspective on, on how you view relationships and also a new perspective on um, the situation, again, with some of you with with some of you it's someone you're still dealing with that you have a history with most of you it's someone that you're not talking to anymore that you have a history with and this is kind of what you're realizing we have judgment in reverse page of swords in reverse with the six of swords in reverse and then we have nine of swords in reverse with five of cups in reverse oh this is a lot of pain this is a lot of mental torture stemming from emotional pain and anguish and scorpios i know you guys rule the underworld. That This is your bread and butter. You guys know how to do this kind of energy in the right way. But I got to tell you, like I said, it's a rude awakening. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a shock for some of you. So just be prepared for that. Now, like I said, this feels near future. So I kind of want to put this off to the side a little bit because I mean, you're ready for commitment. No, no doubt about it. I feel it. You guys, you guys are ready, um, at least for the um, energy that I'm sensing in this reading. But there's going to be a shift, like I said, a new beginning, asking you to take a risk. Um, but it's stemming from this realization. It's stemming from this realization here, um, this aw this awakening and truth that you're gaining about yourself in a situation that you've been dealing with or have dealt with recently. So let's focus on this. Judgment in reverse, page of swords in reverse with six of swords in reverse. You're realizing someone was a big fat liar. <laughs> You're realizing someone's a really big fat liar um, <clears throat> in, in planning with you is what I'm getting. Like they have no, you're realizing that someone that you've been kind of, I feel like you've been waiting for them to come back. That's why judgment's in reverse. They're not back yet. You've been waiting for reconciliation to happen and you kind of realize like this isn't going to happen. At least not in the way I need it to is also what I'm getting. Like someone's not coming towards you. Someone's not finding the, the calm waters and someone's been lying, like straight up been lying. And I, Scorpios, I feel like this this truth that you're gaining about this person and about a typical, not typical, um, your typical relationship pattern, um, you're seeing it. You're seeing it for what it is. And you also feel like, have I been lying to myself this whole time is also kind of the, what I'm sensing. This is going to be heavy, Scorps. This is going to be really heavy. But I feel something really awesome coming your way after this. It's almost like you wake up 
And then you you see the world for what it is as far as relationships are concerned. And because it's like you're woke all of a sudden, hold on, an opportunity presents itself. And you take it. I feel it. You take it. But this awakening, oh, this is really unfortunate. Yeah, it's like you you feel almost like you've been lying to yourself or like you're realizing that someone's lying to you. So let's look at Page of Swords in reverse. Let's see what this lying behavior is all about. I'm going to use the vice versa deck. I might have to replace my Gilded Tarot deck soon. Um, I've been having trouble the last couple days shuffling it for my reading. So I'm, I'm actually avoiding using it. So I might have to replace it. Clarify Page of Swords in reverse. And yeah, that's one of the decks that got totally soaked. <laughs> Clarify Page of Swords in reverse. Winter, winter. This this awakening is going to happen for you before winter is out. I feel like it's happening this week, to be completely frank. Like, I really feel like it's happening now. Um, but for some of you, it might be delayed, but you're going to experience it during winter. Clarify Page of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> Clarify Page of Swords in reverse. Clarify Page of Swords in reverse. Mmm. Hold on, let me get let me get these lined up here. We got quite a few. Oh, very interesting. Clarify page of swords. Clarify page of swords in reverse for my Scorpios. Clarify page of swords in reverse for my Scorpios. There's gonna be some drama in this too. I sense it. Clarify page of swords in reverse for my Scorpios, December 31st, January 6th regarding love. Clarify page of swords. Oh, geez. In reverse. Hold on a second. Let me go get that. Whoa. I feel it, Scorps. Yeah, you're going to get a rude awakening here and it's going to be upsetting, but you're going to be okay. Overall energy, hermit, Virgo energy. With these lies or realizing you feel like you've been lying to yourself about relationships, you're you're calling for isolation. You're like, oh my God, I got to be alone. All right, this is the other side of the hermit. This is, I've been alone and I'm still thinking because I can't let, I can't let the truth escape me. This is, oh, I need to go and soul search so that I can figure out the truth. You got me? So this is realizing the need for solitude, the need to be alone, which you guys are usually fine with. Um... The first three cards kind of kind of worry me. I really feel like for most of you, this is someone lied to you. And it really hurts. Uh, four swords with the four. Yeah. Oh, pff, sorry, guys. <laughs> four swords with the four of cups with the wheel of fortune. This is like everything has been done and I, I just can't anymore is kind of what I feel. Um, you get wind of these lies. Or again, realizing you've been lying to yourself about relationships and you're just like, wow, wow. Like the pain is so intense. Like it feels like you've kind of lost not everything, but you've lost a lot. You've lost a lot that you felt was very tangible. Like you lost a lot of what you felt was true, but realizing it wasn't true. That's why the city's burning in the background and you're 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 like, I can't white flag. I, I need I need to be alone. Like that's literally, you might even say that to this person. If someone's coming forward and who's lying to you, or if you find out someone's been lying to you, you're just going to be like, I, I need to be alone. Um, <clears throat> Four of Cups, contemplation. You're going to be alone. You're going to try to heal. You're going to try to mend your heart. And then you're going to be like, what now? <laughs> what now? Wheel of Fortune. This is the needing to fix your fortune. Okay, this is the positive wheel of fortune this is the typical standard upright wheel of fortune we're used to this is things really need to be fixed here and scorpios it's almost like you go from grief to pissed pretty quickly in this you go okay i need to be alone and you're alone and you're gathering your thoughts and i really feel like this energy is also what's happening while you're in this healing state um this nine of swords in reverse with the five of cups in reverse is very like depressive feeling very remorseful over what's been lost and being upset about it and a little bit of mental torture. Um, and then you realize this shit needs to be fixed. Um, and 
it's almost like for Scorpios who are realizing that they, they um, have been lying to themselves about relationships, like the changing of their perspective. Um, <laughs> you're basically going to, you're basically going to get mad at yourself a little bit here. But if you're realizing someone lied to you, you're going to get pissed off at them. You're going to get fucking mad and I feel it. Okay. So these are the four, car four cards that we have coming out on the next line. <laughs> Two of swords with ace of cups. With Knight of Swords, Gemini energy could also be Aquarius or Libra or um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With Eight of Pentacles, okay, Th this is going to be rough. This is the other side. This is the side that is in your reading. It's a lot of turmoil in this card. It's a lot of stress and you're feeling it and it's because you're angry, okay? It's because you're angry and I feel it. It's because you're upset. Um... This Ace of Cups is interesting to me, though. I know you want, you want a new beginning in love. You definitely do. Um, this is typically an Ace that's already been given, and then someone shelved it and has been kind of waiting too long to claim it. Um, but it, it just feels... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, metaphorical in this case. Um, <clears throat> it's almost like you've shelved your, your true Ace of Cups, because you didn't see relationships in the right way is kind of how it feels. Um, yeah, that's kind of how it feels. And you're trying to claim it back because you're, you're seeing reality for what it is now when it comes to relationships. You're seeing your relationship pattern, your unhealthy relationship patterns. And, you know, for most, for some of you where some, you're getting wind that someone's lied to you, um, <clears throat> It's, it's still, it's almost like trying to claim back your Ace of Cups that you tried to give them. Like claiming back your heart, claiming back your heart and you're going to do it a little dramatically. This Knight of Swords is drama. <laughs> this is a lot of drama. This is also a lot of harsh words being spoken. It's a lot of quick back and forth communication, very much like a debate. And then this Eight of Pentacles is, an, is oppressive. This is the other side. This is feeling pressured to work. Feeling pressure to get something done. Um, I feel like you're going to apply the pre apply pressure to someone um, in your midst. Um, I feel like you're going to apply pressure to the person that's lied to you. And you're almost like going to try to like squeeze the truth out of them. Like, you better give it to me <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, you're, yeah. Th oh, my God. You're mad. You're mad. It's not even just like a little like Scorpio sting. You're mad. You're, you're like standing over them like any day. Give me the fucking truth any day. Oh, little Scorps. I know it's going to hurt, but it, it just is what it is. And then we have <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles with the Sun card. Uh, this Sun card is the negative side of the Sun card. This is feeling oppressive. This is feeling like you can't gain your freedom. You can't gain your happiness. Um, but I really feel like that's just stemming from being stuck in a sad state about it. Um, I don't feel like you feel trapped. I feel like it's just when you're going through the, those emotions about it before you reach that anger state, you're feeling like happiness is very far. Like joy is very far because you've come to some harsh truths about yourself and about this person who's lied to you. Again, for some Scorps, it's a person who's lied to you. For other Scorps, it's realizing your bad relationship patterns and seeing relationships for, you know, how you, you know, how you probably should have been seeing them. Others, it's both. All right, so just know what you're working with, okay? But then this Ace of Pentacles, this is very interesting. Oh, Scorps. It's sad, but it's also good stuff. So I feel like you are getting an, you are going to get an Ace of Pentacles. You are going to get a new beginning. This specific Ace of Pentacles is with somebody. You see those two people in the background? This is the other side. This is a solo new beginning. So whether realizing this person lied to you or not, you know, recognizing your relationship patterns that are unhealthy. Um, you you want a new beginning with someone. You want a new beginning that's stable. You want a new beginning in love and in happiness. You do. You want it. And you know you deserve it. Um, but finding out this person lied to you, it's like regardless of that, you know that you're going to move towards commitment at some point, whether it's with this person or another person, but I got to be honest, this person seems like they're walking away because they have this uh, six of swords, like they're unable to kind of plan with you. They're unable to find the peace. 
and so are you. This is this is going to be, I'm not going to lie, this is going to be upsetting, but afterwards it's going to be some amazing stuff. I, I know it. I can really feel it. Um, because you do have two aces here. You have, And then you have the overall energy of the Ace of Swords in reverse. So you have an Ace of Cups and an Ace of Pentacles. That is a new beginning in love and, and abundance. It's, it's, it's right there for the taking. It's almost like this awakening to um, bad relationship patterns is allowing for awesome love to come in at some point. That's, that's how it feels to me. So let's look at the Fool because this is a new beginning. And then we'll look at this really awesome stuff. Okay, we'll end on a good note. We'll end on a really nice note. So let's look at the Fool using the Vice Versa deck to clarify. Clarify the Fool from our Scorpios. December. Hold on a second. There we go. I love this deck, but it is hard to hold sometimes. Clarify the Fool for my Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th. Clarify the Fool for my Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th. Clarify the Fool for my Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th. Clarify the Fool. Clarify the Fool for my Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th. Clarify the Fool for Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th. Clarify the Fool. Clarify the Fool. Clarify the Fool for my Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th. Okay, so in taking this risk, taking this jump, taking this leap into accepting what you've just learned about yourself and accepting what you've learned about this individual, overall we have judgment. This is the other side, this is the side that came out. Um, this is further cementing the, the rift and removal, like removal of the old ways of thinking and also the rift that's happening with this person that you found out has lied to you. Okay, it really feels like you can finally detach yourself from them, which I think is good. I think that's really good. Um, but again, it's also definitely leaving behind the old ways of looking at relationships and dating um, and really seeing them in a different way, in a way that almost elevates your energy, almost like brings you to a higher level of understanding, which is really, it almost feels like you're being primed for divine love, to be honest. Like, it almost feels like the universe is getting you ready for a higher vibrational love. Can't go wrong with that. And then these two cards clarifying the fool. You're going within. This is Empress energy, divine feminine energy, if for whoever resonates with that title. Um, Libra energy and Taurus. It's Venus, right? And then King, uh, King of Cups again in, in the same spread. But this one is a king that's going within. This is a king who's ready to come out into the world. <laughs> come out and be committed. Come out and be married and, and be happy in relationships. But this is a king who's going within, um, trying to find the love, to be honest. It's like, it almost feels like trying to find the self-love. And then this empress is going in to find intuition. So yeah, this really feels like you're elevating yourself. You're, you're elevating your understanding of love and understanding of relationships, which feels really great. feels really awesome. Um, just be careful not to not be so cut off to love because this is a very, this is someone who's not giving emotion to anybody at all. You're giving it to yourself, which is perfectly fine. I think that's called for in this situation, but don't stay closed off for too long because like I said, once you reach this understanding, it's gonna it really is gonna bring in some good stuff for you some amazing stuff um so just know that and if you're closed off to it you're not gonna find it you're not all right so we're moving on over here king of cups and the four of wands i'm very excited <laughs> sensing some good stuff let's look at the four of wands let's look at the four of wands we already know what you scorps are all about let's look at the four of wands clarify four of wands for scorpio December 31st to January 6th. Clarify four of wands for my Scorpios. December 31st to January 6th. Clarify four of wands for my Scorpios. It's like you go through this awakening and then 
Boom, four of wands, good stuff. No cards are out yet, I'm just telling you. <laughs> Clarify four of wands, which is probably going to be after the week. I feel like this December 31st to the 6th is going to be about this realization. And then after that, cut some off, come some awesome four of wands. Clarify four of wands for my Scorpios, December 31st, January 6th. All right, that feels good. Clarify four of wands for my Scorpios. Clarify four of wands for my Scorpios. December 31st, January 6th. Clarify four of wands for my Scorpios. December 31st to January 6th. Okay. Clarify four of wands. For my Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th. Oh. Clarify four of wands for my Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, oh wow, your Major Arcana card came out. Over whoa, overall energy, the moon, Piscean energy and Cancerian energy. This is realizations. This is things coming to light, you know, seeing things for what they are. We even have, um, you see those two dogs right there? Very balanced, very yin-yang, almost very twin-like, like twin flame, twin-esque. I really feel like the, the, the universe is prepping you for some higher love. I really feel that way. And right underneath that, by the way, was the two of cups, cemented love right underneath that, Aquarius energy. If you're dealing with an aqua or, you know, you got an aqua in your midst, I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying a king to match a king um regardless of gender so actually the more i think the more i feel it it feels very alpha it feels very alpha-esque so the three cards that came out to clarify four of wands um we have page of pentacles with death scorpio energy and then six of six of swords this is finding peace this is leaving bad shit in the past and heading towards what you want which is the four of wands it seems like you're gonna get it and it might be with like i said um an aquarius or a gemini libra or someone who harnesses that energy excuse me that is somebody who's very um communicative they talk they like to, they like to talk um they're also very careful with the words and they're very truthful they bring in the truth and they do handle their shit anyway so heading towards your happy happy place um, and you're able to do that with this death energy. Like, a, you know, that's your energy. That's you, Scorps. What did I say? It's like, it's your own truth. It's your own truth that you're facing. You're facing death. You're facing Scorpio energy. It's almost like you're facing like, like, well, I don't know another way to say that. Like Scorpio trial tribulations. Like, it's almost like a Scorpio gauntlet. <laughs> like, like if any sign could set up like a challenge, the Scorpios would set up this challenge. Like discovering the truth about sex and relationships and transformation and leveling up that's total scorpio energy and you're doing it and you're gonna do it beautifully um with this page of pentacles this is also somebody who's seeking out their own abundance in their own way it's like it's it's change it's change this page actually the more i think about it it's kind of i almost want to read it to you guys actually you know what i will read it to you because it's going to make a hell of a lot more sense in the way i'm going to word it what i mean by change is like this is someone who's been told to do something a certain way, and they go on and do it a different way. They go and do it the way that they feel is best for them. That is actually a really good way to describe it, but I'm still going to read it to you. Because I think it's going to hit home um, better that way. The knave looks toward the sunset, which gleams upon the jagged mountains before him. Clouds are gathering, but the scene is still beautiful. The knave's cloak bears a large rose emblem on the back. An empty gold cornucopia lies among the flowers at his feet. This is a person who wants to follow his bliss. He has turned his back on the cornucopia rather than filling it. He doesn't want to settle down and build a fortune. He wants to set forth and seek his fortune, whatever the risk. Because, Scorpios, you're going to come into an understanding that you can't build... Oh, come on, focus. You're going to come into an understanding about love here. I think this is a really big lesson for some of my Scorps that... You can't create the partner you want. You can't take, you know, a person as a template and then try to form it into something that suits you. That's not how love works. A true partner, a true, you know, great long lasting relationship where there's unconditional love is someone who is basically already made for you. Someone that you just literally have to find, not build. Does that make sense? 
Um, and I think a lot of people make that mistake. And Scorpios, you guys love love. You really do. People don't understand that, but you do. You like sex too, but you, you love love. You love love more than sex. Most people will not believe it when I, if I say that, but it's true. Um, and I think, you know, it's really easy for Scorpios to not get roped in. What's another word I'm looking for? To see the potential. It's really easy for Scorpios to see the potential in somebody, especially when love is involved, because it's like they, they do love to take care of their partners. They do. They love it. Um, is there some sense of control and power involved in that? Yeah, there's a little bit of that too. Um, but you're coming to the understanding that you can't shape a partner to be what you need. You have to just accept them for who they are. And if it's something, and if they are a person that doesn't nurture you, doesn't show that love, doesn't give you what you need in relationships, you got to go and find another one. You can't build one from another. You got me? Okay. But you're finding it. You're finding you're happy. I got to clarify the Six of Swords. Something's telling me to. I feel like there's something big there. Um, and then we'll pull Romance Angel cards. Oh my God, we're at 30 minutes already. <laughs> God dang it. Okay. Anyway, I'll do this quickly. Clarify Six of Swords for my Scorpios regarding love. December 31st to January 6th. Clarify Six of Swords for Scorpios regarding love. December 31st to January 6th. Clarify Six of Swords for my Scorpios regarding love, December 31st to January 6th. Ooh, hey! Clarify Six of Swords. Clarify Six of Swords for my Scorpios, December 31st. Whoa. Oh, yeah, you're heading towards some good stuff. <laughs> You just got to make the choice. Wow. Clarify Six of Swords for Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th regarding love. Hold on. Clarify Six of Swords for my Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th regarding love. Clarify Six of Swords. overall energy seven of cups in reverse i do get options off of this even though it's in reverse you're you're re realizing how many options you have because you're leveling yourself up and your perspective up about relationships but i also feel like this is fantasy i'm gonna i'm gonna level with you someone's piqued your interest in a major way someone's piqued your interest in a major way um and then we have one two three four five we have five cards click clarify ace of cups I know. Heading towards an Ace of Cups. Oh, and look at that. Progress, forward movement, and a hell of a lot of communication. There's also dating. You might start um, dating a lot because you're realizing that it isn't about building the per that it isn't about building the person, it's about finding the person. Lovers. This is my twin flame card, guys. What did I say? Universe is getting you prepped, getting you ready for that divine higher love. And for some of you, I get the sense that you actually have known this person in your past. This is someone from your past. I don't feel like it's this person who's lied to you. I think some of you might've thought that this was your twin flame, but it wasn't. Your real twin flame is yet to come. Um, but some of you have known this person. It's almost gonna be like a reemergence of someone from your past, but it, it, it most likely is not this person who's been lying to you. You're, like I said, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rude wake up call. You're gonna be like, wait, they lied to me. Wait, they're not my twin. Wait, my twin is coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's going to be like bombshell after bombshell after bombshell all, all within yourself. It's all awakenings, like awakening bombshell, bombshells. Um, but your twin is your twin is so close. You just got to go through this awakening and realization about this person you're dealing with and also about yourself and your relationship patterns. Two of swords in reverse. It, you're going to be a little indecisive. I think you're just going to be so blown away at the chain of events that it's just gonna you're gonna be like oh, wait a, a, a ace of cups with my twin i'm like eight of wands i'm like what, what, what wait <laughs> with four of wands energy too like what and then we have the world you could be done with another fixed sign another scorpio or it could be um an aquarius 
uh, I don't, it's so funny. I almost said Gemini, but I know Gemini is not a fixed sign. We do have a Gemini core card here. Maybe it is a Gemini. Lovers are Gemini energy too. So you can, a Gemini might be coming your way. Anyway, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. This is also foreign travel, but I really, this is about getting on to like a really awesome new beginning, a really awesome new beginning. Oh my God. After basically having a major, major, major shift in your perspective with relationships like this is going to be a shift that has probably been trying to occur for years like almost your whole life I want to say it's gonna it's gonna change a lot of things for you it's gonna be intense all right so let's pull romance angel cards any messages oh, from my Scorpios regarding this reading any messages for my Scorpios regarding this reading, December 31st, January 6th? Any messages for my Scorpios, December 31st to January 6th? This is like the best rude wake up call. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do. Hey, that's how I taught it, I'll tile it. Any messages for my Scorps regarding this reading, December 31st to January 6th? Any messages for my Scorps regarding this reading, December 31st to January 6th? Any messages from us, Scorps, December 31st to January 6th regarding this reading? What do we have here? Mm. It's the one card you guys hate in this whole deck. You know which one it is. It's the C word. Not the four letter one. <laughs> the six letter one. I actually had to count. Oh, it's seven. <laughs> seven letters. Con control. <laughs> control any messages from my scorpios regarding this reading december 31st to january 6th let's see what we got here oh very nice very nice so overall energy we have attraction sorry my bra is giving me problems you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully it's gonna be hard to enjoy this moment of going through this awakening but find the silver lining in it like you're coming to an understanding that a lot of people don't go through. And it's going to raise your awareness of your self-worth and your self-love. I don't think many of my Scorpios watching have that problem with self-love, but can always be improved, can always be improved upon. We always go through bad periods of our life too, where that gets a little, we don't have as much self-love, right? Everyone goes through that. Um, and by embracing the new you, who's like not, who's raising your standards, who's not going to settle for shit, that's going to be really attractive, Okay. Now, I, what did I say? Let go of control issues. A lot of people have been getting this card too, by the way. I don't really know why, but a lot of people have. Maybe it's just the new year. People are just trying to let go or need to let go. And we have very soon. This is about manifestation, the very soon card. And letting go of control issues is just letting things happen as they're supposed to. Letting this liar go. Letting the old ways of thinking go. And embracing the new. Because it's, it's, don't fight it. Don't fight this change. And Scorpios, you guys are about change, but this is going to be such a rude awakening that it's like, you're, you're, it's going to make you freak out a little bit. Okay. More so than you're used to. Let go of, of trying to control it. Let go of trying to control this person. Let go of, of, of the, um, the power, um, the power issues here. You know, Scorps, you, it's just the truth. You, you guys like power. You guys like having power in relationships. This is going to make you feel a little powerless for a little bit. And it's going to be okay. Just let it happen because you got a whole lot of great stuff coming your way. So just let it happen. Because what did I say? Very soon you're going to have some good stuff. And this is about making it happen and manifesting it. And I think you guys are going to. Like I said, I see you guys dating a lot. Doing a lot of dating. Um, yeah, just it's it's going to happen, Scorps. You just got to go through this rude awakening and don't fight it. Don't fight it because you're going to go through a Scorpio transformation. You're going to go through a death phase. A very intense Scorpio death phase, okay? So if you guys enjoyed that, please try to take care and try to enjoy your new year. Because like I said, you got some awesome stuff coming your way. It's so cool. I'm so excited for you guys. Um, let this fucker go. Let him go. Not worth it. Even if you thought he was your twin. Let it go. Um, so yeah. Anyway, so enjoy, guys, and I hope you guys um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out Patreon and the Facebook page. Have a great week, and have a great end of your year and a new start, okay? Bye, guys.